Christine, people have probably heard of Seattle Mountain Rescue. For more than 70 years, they've worked with first responder agencies to do rescues in King County and surrounding areas. And just last year, they went on 87 missions. They hope a new headquarters will help them through many more. With a view of the mountains they know so well, members of the all volunteer nonprofit Seattle Mountain Rescue are doing much of the handiwork themselves on a new headquarters in North Bend near Mount Si. All the way across? Yeah. Good. Well, it's going to be huge for the team. You know, this, this will be the center of the team and a place where we can collect. A uh, place where we can recover after missions, debrief, and train. It'll also be a place to store and dry this rescue gear. And a full body vacuum splint. And we'll take this up into the mountains for most rescues. And it's a central meeting point near where many of their missions take place. Uh, most rescues will wrap up, you know, in four to eight hours. But sometimes we can spend all night outside in the mountains or some rescues go on for days. They wanted a home base for decades, but it was a long, expensive summit toward getting where they are right now, and they still have a ways to go. We're about 90% of the way there on our funding, uh, and that's thanks to the legislature's state uh, and our alumni and our current members have all donated and raised 90% of the funds. So we've got about 10% left. They're hoping for about $100,000 worth of donations to finish the space, where they also plan to host trainings. They also want to continue educating the community about the best ways to enjoy the mountains they love. In terms of that education, I asked for a few quick safety tips for people that are about to start going hiking more. They say that you should make sure that you let somebody know that you are going to be going somewhere and let them know where that is. You want to make sure that you know what kind of terrain you're going to be facing. Make sure that you pack the essentials, including extra food and water, and make sure that you educate yourself on what you're going to expect. You also want to make sure that you don't hesitate to call 911 if needed. If you want to donate, we have a link on our website, king5.com. Just look for this Seattle Mountain Rescue story. Christine.